Hi guys, my name is Karthik and I am from IsraelAutomation.com and today in this video I will be talking about running Selenium Docker container with a multi-arc support to run the Selenium test on an ARM based processors. So this is for the first time we are going to see how we can run a Selenium Docker container in an ARM processor instead of running it in the x86 or x64 bit processors that we can run all these days. Well, if you have worked with Selenium Grid, you know that Docker Selenium Grid only supports x86 or AMD 64-bit architecture all these days. So you should have a x64-bit AMD or Intel machine to run the Selenium Grid. But now there is an experimental multi-arc images available for the Selenium as well. What does that mean? Is that you can run the Selenium test on an ARM-based processor like Mac M1 or Raspberry Pi, which will help you run the Selenium test on the ARM-based grid, which is great. So this brings a lot of different advantages, something like you can run tests faster and it is now natively supported. And also it opens the world of ARM processor to execute Selenium test even on cloud, on-prem, or even in our bare metal machine which is super awesome so i'm going to show you all these things in this particular video and you'll see how faster it is and in this demonstration i actually have an apple m1 based machine so if you just go to my about this mac you will see that this is running an apple m1 it has a 16 gb memory and it is a 13 inch m1 2020 macbook pro and now we'll see how we could able to run a normal Selenium's Docker image which can run in an x64 grid and then we'll try to see if that works or not and if it doesn't work then we'll see how we can run the experimental Selenium grid which is going to run on the ARM based processor and you will see how fast it is. At the moment you can see that I don't really have any images within my Docker desktop which means I don't really have any images in my Docker downloaded yet. So if I just go to this particular website which is nothing but the github.com selenium hq docker selenium over here you will see that there is this documentation available for you to download the docker images for selenium grid there are a lot of different documentation available like how you can run the test in the dynamic selenium docker grid with the video support and also a docker compose and something like that but rather in this particular video we just focus on one thing which is nothing but the multi-arc support so as you can see over here in this particular page the first thing that they have is this one the one which is going to run by default or natively in the x64 machines. So I'm just going to copy this particular docker command over here and then I'm going to go to my terminal and now I'm just going to paste the command that I just copied and I'm going to hit enter. So you will see that it is going to download the image for me because I don't really have any image sitting in my local machine and once this whole download is done you will see that this particular image is automatically going to spin up as well. There we go, it's done. And you will notice that there is a warning message here. It says that the requested image platform Linux AMD64 does not match the detected host platform because it is currently an ARM based processor, which is cool. So it is actually recognizing that for us. It's just giving a warning message, but it is not stopping you to run this particular image within the Apple M1 chip. But now if I just go to my Docker desktop over here, you will notice that within my Docker desktop, it tells you that in the container that this is an AMD 64 bit based container and the image may have poor performance or fails if it runs in an emulation mode. So basically the Rosetta emulation layer is running this particular x64 based containers but still it has a poor performance and maybe it fails as well so what i'm going to do is i'm going to run a simple selenium test over here which i already built and you can see that it has some testng.xml file it has two tests quite straightforward and this particular test actually is going to run on the selenium grid is running within my local machine over here and my last that said i can also show you that my local selenium grid is also up and running which is nothing but the x64 based container as you can see over here. So everything is set up and now let's try to run this particular code which is nothing but the testng.xml file and you will notice that while the test starts executing it is not going to do anything much useful at the moment. You can see that it is running and if I just go to the docker desktop to see the logs it's going to be very straightforward. You can see that it says that started the selenium standalone but it is not really running any test for us at the moment. It is still sitting there. And if you just go to the Safari browser, there is one session being spinned up. But this session is not doing anything useful as well. It just keeps sitting there ideally. And it won't do anything useful until you think 
that you want to close this particular grid completely. That's what is the actual performance of this particular x64 bit grid. This is really, really ridiculous because the container is built for AMD 64 or the 64 bit architecture based processors, not for the ARM based processor. But as I said, I'm not really gonna spend more time on that showing you that how badly it is gonna fail. Rather, I'm just gonna go over here and then I'm gonna delete this particular container which is currently running. So this is the experience at the moment, right? And now I'm gonna talk about the multi arc containers really. So if I just go to this particular page over here, if you just scroll down a bit, it tells you that there is an experimental multi-arc support image is also available, which is community driven. So you can just go to this particular page over here. It is exactly the same page that you see over here, just that this is gonna also help you understand how you can build your own images and you can target that to an ARM v7 or the amd64 processors which is great so this is the one which i'm talking about so i'm just going to grab this particular uh, command from here and you can see that it is saying local hyphen selenium arm if it is something that you have built the selenium grid and then running it but i'm not really going to build all these grid in my local machine like this particular image in my local machine rather if you just go to this particular website the hub.docker.com slash you selini selini arm you will get the whole container as well so if we just go over there you will see that there is this command which says that selini arm slash standalone firefox this is what i wanted to run so i'm gonna go here once again to the terminal and i'm just going to paste this particular command and you know what i'm gonna remove this dollar symbol and instead of the local which is sitting over here. I'm just going to remove that local. So this is going to target the Serini ARM um, standalone latest. I'm going to download it. That's it. So this is going to download the multi arc based Selenium Docker image for us, which means you can run this particular image not only in the ARM based processor like Apple M1 or Raspberry Pi, but also within your x64 based machines, which is nothing but the AMD or Intel machines as well. So it is like a multi architectural support. There we go. This has been downloaded right now. And you can see that there is no big warning this time. I mean, basically it runs pretty happily at the moment. So if I just go back to our Docker desktop, you will notice that the container, it is not really showing you any warning message there because it is not an AMD 64 bit architecture. It is basically running an ARM architecture at the moment. And you'll also notice that I actually forgot to show you. If you go to the stats over here, the CPU usage, as well as the memory usage for an ARM based processor customized container versus the AMD 64 based containers are going to be huge different. So basically the one with an Intel X64 based architecture, it is going to consume almost like 700 MB, something like that. But now it is just consuming 200 MB. So it is less footprint. At the same time, the CPU usage is also much, much lesser. That's what I was telling that the performance is ridiculously faster in this particular processor. So now if I just go over here to our selenium grid which is nothing but the local selenium grid you will notice that this is faster and you will also notice when i run the test it is going to be ridiculously faster so i'm going to run this whole test once again from the testng.xml file and now you can see that the sessions are going to come up there we go there is already one session let me refresh it once again there we go i think the one test has been already completed and there is also a video support for us so if i just put the password a secret the test is already completed that's why it's not even showing us anything there we go the failing test don't worry about it it is intended for that but it is running at the moment quite faster right so if you try running the same test once again you will notice that the test executed in just like 11 seconds and 81 milliseconds for the failing test but the tests are running fine without any problem this is cool so this is the power of the tests running on an ARM based architecture containers, which is nothing but the multi arc container versus the X64 container. So now this opens up a whole new world for us to run the Selenium test on an ARM based processor, because all these days we have been restricted with running just the Intel based processor. And I personally bought this Apple M1 like two years before, or at least one and a half years before, and I couldn't be able to run the Selenium grid. I always go back to my Dell XPS machine to run the Selenium grid test. But now this is really a big relief for me. 
I could run the Selenium grid test even in my Apple M1 machine. That too much, much faster and less footprint of memory usage. So that's it guys. This is how you could run the test in the ARM based processors with Selenium grid. Once again, thanks for watching this video and you guys have a great day.